Welcome back guys. Today is not just going to be a review, but also a test. I'm going to be recording this whole video using my iPhone 4. Now if the quality of the video is up to par, this really opens up a wide variety of content that we can cover, such as camping, hiking, fishing, hunting, and even just range reviews where taking a $5,000 camera is not really a viable option. So as you can see, what we're going to be doing is reviewing a Magpul item, and it's from the PTS, or Professional Training and Simulation Division. And what that means is basically the PTS compared to the genuine Magpul, PTS are designed for an airsoft market. The difference between genuine and PTS generally is minimal, if not non-existent. Anyway, I saw these on eBay. I think I got them for... Was it $17, which included postage from Hong Kong? I thought if they were crap, you know, what am I wasting out? $17. I didn't really have high expectations of these, but when they came in, I was pleasantly surprised. As you can see, they are the MBUS or Magpul backup sites. It took about a week and a half to get here, and here they are. I was really impressed, actually. Uh, obviously, you come with your front and your rear sight. No manuals or no tools provided, but when installing these, common sense prevails. So what we're going to do is talk about the specifications or the dimensions of both the rear and the front. I'll then talk about the features of the MBUS. We'll then describe the adjustments that can be made from the elevation and the windage. I'll then do a really quick installation and we'll finish up the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. The dimensions for both the rear and the front are exactly the same. When folded down, the height from the rail to the top is 1.6 centimeters. The length is 6.7 when deployed, the height is 4.1 centimeters and its width is 3.2 centimeters. The rear sight has both a small and large aperture. And as you can see, to go from the small to the large, it flips upwards rather than downwards, which means you can have that large aperture on at all times. And when it's not deployed, it's not going to get in the way of the rail and cause issues. The large aperture is measured in at 0.185 inch of a diameter for the close range targets and a small aperture is measured at 0 0.70 of an inch in diameter for more long range target shooting. Both sites are constructed in the same way with three parts. The first part is obviously the sight itself, the second is the release, and the third is the framework or the base in which the sight can be mounted to any standard Picatinny railing. They are a reinforced ejection molded polymer, which makes these very lightweight, but also resistant to impact, to rust and corrosion, and also fade resistant. The only metal components are the front post, the spring, and the screw. Deployment of the sights can be done in three manners, by the levers on the side making them ambidextrous, but also by pressing down on the Magpul logo, and it springs up. When deployed, both the sights have the same height as the standard A2 iron sights, which makes for co-witnessing when deployed through an EOTech or an Aimpoint, fantastic because you can still have your iron sights and your reticle and they should both match up perfectly. Both the rear and the front have protective wings protecting the post, the front post and the rear aperture. The front sight has a grub screw which is located right there. When removed allows you to adjust the elevation of the post. Each quarter rotation will adjust the point of impact approximately 1 7 8 of an inch at 100 meters. 
The rear has a windage adjustment knob on the right hand side here, which at each click adjusts the point of impact approximately three quarters an inch at 100 meters. And as you can hear, each increment adjusted has a very solid clicking noise. I found that the 3mm hex key is perfect sizing for this screw and to install you need to remove these screws. Put your finger or your thumb over that nut so when we take that off it won't be lost. They will not mount at any position like that. You have to go to the rear or the front of the rail and slide it on. Once you find your desired position Put the screw back in and tighten it up. Now I've got a set of PRI mounts which are metal sights and I found that after using them on a 223 and a 308 the screw actually started coming loose and that's just from the recoil. I think these being a polymer construction should absorb a lot more of that recoil and should work really fine. I'll do some testing out of the range and let you guys know how it goes but yeah I think these will be perfect for managing recoil on both the 223 and the 308 so once you've got these installed onto your rail again to deploy quite easy you've got your side and also the top and as I said if you had like your aim tech or EO tech or aim point or whatnot on here, you can co witness through both the reticle and also the iron sights. Now, these are the Gen 1 M bus, I believe they're discontinued. You get the Gen 2s now, I think they're exactly the same, except they don't have the Magpul logo on them, they have just a pretty much a, a grip there which makes it easier to push down on. The colours of course are available in all the standard colours that Magpul bring out. We got your foliage green, you've got your tan, OD green and obviously the black. So guys this was just a real quick video on the MBUS uh, sites or the Magpul backup sites. Uh, there are a few out there but there wasn't really anything in a little bit more detail than just here they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be uploading some more in regards to the Mjolnir build. I've just got the rifle back so I'm really excited to start kicking that off with the part two, three, four and continue on till we finish with that. Uh, also some great news in regards to the SHOT Show. Um, Tim has emailed us and said that we are actually available to film on the Friday night, the trade show only night, and we have unlimited time to film in. So that's great, we're going to get a lot more footage that way. And we'll be filming Sunday anyhow to film a bit of the atmosphere that's around the SHOT Show. So guys, again, please let me know how this quality of the film was because if it works out then we're going to expand our capabilities to bring more videos and more diverse videos to you guys out there as subscribers and again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because your support means a great deal and also motivates me more to bring out more videos it's just a bit more motivation again guys thank you very much for watching and shoot safe Thank mm -hmm. you.